All right. So let us begin with some definition. Let M be a topological space. Um, first, uh, a collection of sets C containing element of the type uh, U alpha, where alpha is in A, is an open cover for uh, a subset X contained in the manifold if X is uh, contained in the union of uh, this collection of sets. Secondly, any sub collection of C which is an upper cover, which is an open cover for X is called a sub cover. Thirdly, a refinement C prime as a collection of sets um, uh, containing U alpha prime, where alpha is running some uh, indexing set A prime of C, is uh, a cover such that every element in C prime is a subset of some element of C. So this is called a refinement of, of C. Next, let X be a subset of uh, some manifold M and let um, <coughs> C be an open cover of, uh, of X. Then C is called locally finite if for every point x here there exists an open subset ox around x such that the subset let's say denoted c sub x of c obtained by taking all elements all open sets in c which are intersecting with ox non-trivially is empty if such a collection here, so for example, here's an illustration of this set. Here's the first one, here's the second one, third one, and so on until the last one. Right, so this collection here is a subset of C. Whenever this is finite, whenever you can always find such an open set such that this collection here is finite, then um, we say that C is uh, locally finite. Next, the uh, topological space is called paracompact if every open cover of the space has a locally finite refinement as defined earlier. And we say that the topological space is uh, locally compact if every point admits a neighborhood that has a compact closure. So what is the partition of unity? Well, let's start by assuming that capital X is a topological space and let uh, C be, a, be an open cover of X. Now we say that um, a partition of unity subordinate to the cover C is a collection of um, small function of the type F sub alpha parameterized by some indexing set alpha, I mean a, a, such that first, every element in this collection P has for range a subset contained in the interval 0 to 1. Right. So uh, the range, basically, the range of uh, F alpha is a subset of 0, 1 for every uh, alpha in capital A. Secondly, for every alpha 
in A, the supports of F alpha is contained in uh, U alpha, where U alpha is an element of the cover. Thirdly, for every X, which is in the set capital X, you can find an open set UX in X, which is um, an open set containing X, such that this set, which is obtained by taking the in intersection of U sub X with all possible supports of functions f alpha is actually a finite set additionally uh, the the mathematical object obtained by summing every single function in the partition p in the set p and evaluated at x is act turns out to actually be a finite sum that add up to one right so even though this summation here looks like it can potentially be taken over in some uncountable sets the summation is actually taken taken over some finite sets and the outcome is always one for every x in uh, the topological space big x Now, it is worth noting that in the special case where X has a CK differentiable structure, if P is a partition of unity such that each element of the set F sub alpha is of class CK, then we say that P is a CK partition of U unity. Our main result in this lesson is that is the following theorem. Any open cover of the manifold admits a smooth partition of unity subordinate to the given cover. So our result will be proved with um, in uh, several steps. First, let us establish the following lemma. If X is a topological space which is locally compact, housed off, and second countable, then X is actually pair compact okay so let's prove this so first we will need to show the existence of some set some countable set oj parameterized by the natural numbers such that first uh, every element in this set when we take its closure it's compact for every natural number uh, oj the closure of OJ is contained in that in in OJ plus one, and X is the union of all of this. So, the an abstract picture is something like this. Maybe this is uh, O1, right? And so this here is X, and then you have the set O2 and so on O3 all the way till let's say O K and so on right until you completely cover uh, all of it so we are trying to establish the existence of uh, of uh, such a collection of sets. Okay, so how do we do that? So, since we have assumed that X is housed off and locally compact, I invite the reader or the viewer, I shall say, to pause here and to prove that there exists a countable basis, say VK, such that for every K, the closure of VK is compact. So I will leave this here as an exercise. So we let O1 be equal to V1 and we define inductively OK such that OK is the union of VJ when J goes from 1 all the way J to JK where jk is the smallest natural number satisfying the following condition jk plus 1 is uh, 
greater than JK and um, I should put here strictly greater than JK and additionally um, the closure of uh, OK which is explicitly written at, as this is contained in the union of the set VJ when J goes from 1 all the way till JK plus 1. So basically we are picking a subsequence of um, of this collection here right and then we use that subsequence to construct the sets O1, O2, O3 and so on all the way till ON okay and so this creates this countable collection of sets OJ where J is running to the natural number and uh, it satisfies the desired results now let's see the uh, collection of sets U alpha which is an open cover of X and uh, by convention let's O sub 0 be the empty set um, now observe that OK take away the closure of OK take away OK minus 1 is a compact set and additionally the, that set is contained in the set given by the closure of OK plus 1 take away OK minus 2 so this is an illustration of um, what I'm showing you here here's O4 minus O1 for example you can see that it's all of these set here and um, the sets, the closure of O3 take away O2 is what's given to you in green here. This set right here. Okay, you can see that this set here is contained in the yellow subset. Now, for k greater at for k for uh, for any natural number which is at least three. Choose a finite subcover of the open cover, of the open cover um, containing oh, the open cover C, by intersect by considering all alpha such that U alpha intersect this set here is um, is non-empty. Okay, and uh, this is actually a finite subcover. Of uh, the closure of OK take away OK minus one, and um, similarly choose a finite subcover containing element of the type U alpha intersect O three of O two of the closure of O two. Then um, this selection of sets, as described in these uh, steps, is a locally finite refinement of C containing open set whose closures are all compact and this concludes the proof of the lemma let R be a real number which is uh, strictly positive and let BR be an open set consisting of all points in Rn such that the uh, supnorm or the infinity norm of x is strictly less than r and by infinity norm of x i mean the maximum of all absolute value of xk where k runs from 1 to n and c infinity r is the closure of uh, uh, b infinity r and our aim here is to show that there exists a non-negative function uh, which is smooth and it additionally satisfies two important conditions. It is constantly equal to 1 on the closed set C infinity 1, which is properly contains in the open set B infinity 2. And additionally, the function f vanishes outside of these sets B infinity 2. So, um, for the proof, as a starter, consider the piecewise defined function f sub 1 such that f sub, of f sub 1 of x is e negative 1 over x if x is positive and 0 otherwise. And here is the graph of uh, 
f1 sort of looks like this and so it's zero in the left at the left of zero and then strictly increasing after that and then we have f sub 2 which is defined in this map in this fashion and you can see this is the graph that function and then f sub 3 of x is f sub 2 of the absolute value of x and so it, this is the graph of it is something like a, a bump function and then finally um, we can define f between rn and r such that f sub f of x1, x2, all the way till xn is the product of f sub 3xk when k runs from 1 all the way till n. And um, this, it is left to the viewer to verify that indeed, uh, in the technical sense, all of the um, characteristics uh, which are explicitly uh, defined here are actually satisfied by our construction. Let M be a differentiable manifold of dimension N and let C be this collection of sets U alpha where alpha is in A. So let these sets be an open cover of M. Then there exists a partition of unity P consisting of function of the type F alpha where alpha is running in A which is subordinate to the cover C. So let's prove this result. First, let O sub 0 be the empty set and let OJ where J is running to the natural number be a countable collection of sets such that for any natural number j, the closure of oj is compact and the closure of oj is containing oj plus 1 and m is the union of all ok where k runs from 1 all the way till infinity. And this is something that was already established earlier. Next for arbitrary p in uh, the manifold m, let LP be the largest integer such that P belongs to M take away the closure of OLP. So for example, looking at this example here, um, if you take the closure of O1 away from, from M, then you get all of these here, right? And clearly P belongs to this set. And then we can play the same game with this one here. So we have all of this set and clearly belong to this set and then we move here clearly P belong uh, so you can see in this example that LP is actually equal to 3 okay um, Okay, so let's look at this example here. Right, so if you consider um, M take away O1, so we have all of this, and P belongs to that set. Okay, if we take M take away um, O2, clearly P belongs to that set. Right, if we take M take away O3, it does not belong. So in this example here, LP will be equal to 2, for example. Um, next, let U alpha P be an element of C such that P is in U alpha P and fix a chart UP omega P center at P such that UP is uh, contained um, in all of these sets here. And additionally, we also want the range of alpha or omega p to contain the closed set C infinity 2. Next, we let fp be the 
indicate a function of up time the function obtained by composing the local coordinates omega p with f where f is as defined in the previous lemma then uh, it is left to the rev to the uh, viewer to verify that all three of these conditions are actually satisfied okay so this is uh, an exercise left so verify the claims below Now for any natural number n, select point Qn in the manifold n um, such that, uh, and these points are parameterized by some sets Fn such that this collection here is an open cover of the closure of On take away On minus 1. And then reorder the countable family consisting of function Fqn as the collection g k where k is running to the natural number so g1 g2 and so on then uh, i claim that uh, the domain the collection of uh, of the sets given by the domain of each g k is actually a locally finite set now i'll observe that the map called this uh, uh, I'm going to call this map here big uh, Z which such that Z of P is the summation of G P G sub J evaluated at P where J is running to the natural number um, is well defined so is a well defined function on M. Next, I will let G K Tweedle be equal to G K over Z. Then uh, it follows that The collection GK Twiddle, where K is a natural number, is a partition of uh, unity subordinate to the open cover. And additionally, uh, so moreover, the support of each GK Twiddle is compact for every natural number K. And this concludes the proof.